Hello, boy, my hair's looking big. Look at this view today. How amazing. Okay, good to see some people on. Uh, it's an unusual time for me to be going live because it's quite early in the morning here in the US but it's late at night in Australia. Um, so if you normally miss me because um, I'm on too early then hello. Uh, today uh, just a quick one. I've got two more trainings to run this morning before I head off to GrowthCon. So I have my my ticket to GrowthCon. I'm heading off today. Um, Feeling excited about getting um, getting that underway. It's been on the list for a little while. Um, but what I want to have a chat with you about is you can't give from an empty cup. And what I mean by that is, you know, in our industry, whatever it is, you know, I, I know I have a lot of coaches in my community, but, you know, most entrepreneurs are in the, um, you know, we're in the daily practice of giving. And we're giving out information and we're teaching people. Um, Oh, that's great, Kim. Um, and what tends to happen is at some point you'll find if you're not filling back up, you'll find that, you know, you just feel like you're really working from an empty well and there's not much there. And that's usually because we're giving, 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 giving. And what we haven't done is remember to fill ourselves back up. And sometimes it's really important to make those investments to be able to place yourself in an environment where you feel supported, where you feel like you're getting new information. Um, that's why I flew here to the States to be able to spend three days at 10X GrowthCon. Um, I felt like I really needed to learn some new stuff. I felt like, yeah, I don't know, that it was normally for content. For me, content just flows out of me pretty easily and effortlessly. And But for some reason, I felt like a little bit like, um, you know, my ideas were drying up and for me that's a sign to um, you know that I need to learn some new stuff or at least place myself in an environment where I'm inspired by the people around me to remind me of the stuff that I do know that perhaps I haven't been talking about for a little while hey Dorothea um, so yeah that's what this whole thing's about but for you too you know if you find yourself feeling a little bit empty if you're finding yourself struggling to really be of the best service to your clients then it's usually a sign that you know, you're not getting much back for yourself and it's time to look at how you can start to fill yourself back up. It's the same with parenting, you know, when you're exhausted and um, giving everything to your kids, if you're not taking care of yourself, um, you know, the energy is not there to do it and you feel like it's a grind. And it's like that with business, it's like that with pretty much anything in a relationship. You know, if you're the one that's continually trying to raise the other person up and you're the one that's continually giving, giving, giving and you're not getting much in return, you know, eventually we run out of, um, you know, stuff to give. So, hey Adam. So, yeah, just a reminder that if you are in the industry of giving, and most of us are, and you find yourself, you know, struggling a little bit or that the ideas aren't coming as easily, it's time to surround yourself with people who are going to inspire you. It's time to invest in knowledge. And as I say, over the next three days, I'm going to pick up a truckload of inspiration, I'm sure, and a truckload of knowledge. Um, one of the things that yesterday when I got to the registration is, I don't know, you know how, and excuse my American friends who are not like this, but the, they were just trying to get the crowd up and running, you know, excited and they were screaming at the top of their lungs and jumping around and it's just like, oh my God, I can't do this for three days. So I'm hoping to calm the farm a little bit today. <laughs> it's not going to be so crazy. I'm like I'm Australian, we don't do that. It's not our thing. So um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. I'm going to have a one massive headache by the end of the day if it's not a little bit calmer than that. But anyway, I'm off. I've got some other training to run. Um, I've got my journaling program, so I'm running that today. And I also have my Rich, Fit and Famous online program that I'm running this as well for the next six weeks. That's a six weeks intensive. Um, it's not too late to join that. That's um, up and running and the journaling is there too. Um, not too late to join them. So um, I think if you just scroll through my newsfeed, you'll find the details. Or head to my website, theartofkickingouselegantly.com. 
and you click on programs or work with me I can't remember what the button's called uh, and you'll see all the information in there um, I haven't got time to paste the links but have an amazing day or evening wherever you are in the world and uh, I might even check in from GrowthCon bye